Today started with a fever. Not sure if you can see it, but I uh, was chopping with a knife and I chopped across my thumbnail. I was really lucky it didn't go any further in. Clean sheets, vacuum floor, wipe down everything. Yay, hooray for the bedroom. Laundry blowing in the breeze. And kitchen floor, I'm going to wash you. I'm going to get the dishes sorted out and I'm going to have to move the refrigerator out so I can scrub the floor and make it nice and clean before I bring the clean rug back in. Yeah. I'll have to go check the clothes pretty soon. It's been pretty windy. Right now it doesn't look like it. And I moved the refrigerator out and the floor is kind of dirty but it has like a burn spot. I don't know if you can see that burn spot. Kind of frightening. Yeah, I didn't do all this. People that lived here once or twice before me. Yeah, crapola. Nice clean floor. And before I put the rug down, I, I had got these two squares, rubbery squares from the five and uh, what is it called? Five below. Everything's five dollars or less. I think these are three dollars a square. But they work as padding underneath the rug so I can stand at the kitchen sink. You don't have to have a rug on it. You can, you can stand on it. And uh, really works well. So instead of buying a fatigue mat that's really expensive, just get a couple of these things. Yeah, it looks good. I meant anti-fatigue mat. It's like when you stand on it, you don't get tired as quickly. This busy bee did a lot today. I was busy all day. It's four o'clock now and I just got out of the shower. I did two loads of laundry. I spa treated the carpet and carpet cleaned some of it. There's not much left in the refrigerator. I think there's about a half a cup of mac and cheese, two eggs, quarter cup of orange juice, half a cup of milk, I mean, there, you know, I can make pasta and pasta with, you know, garlic or whatever, but, you know, that's not a big deal. Tomorrow I'll be running some errands and take you with me, so I better charge up the camera. And hopefully tomorrow the car will pass the emissions and we'll get the tags for it and all this, that, and the other thing. But, uh, let's see, anything else to report? Cat's not been feeling well today. I feel better than I did this morning. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to mention. My brother had offered and ran me up to get the car the other day, yesterday or whenever it was. Wait a minute, Friday. Friday, because they're closed yesterday. And, uh, yeah, he called me yesterday. And, um, uh, he and my mom had been talking. When they get together and start talking about me, then all kinds of bad vibes happen and all kinds of things. My mom is a narcissistic parent. I'm only alive if I'm there to make her look good. If anything else, then she, I'm dead to her. So, But the, she always wonders how I can do this or how I can do that. And Richard is his her little crony. And he's... he's following in her footsteps and he lays into me about stupid things all the time and it's like it's none of his friggin business for one thing what people do but he says well we were wondering how you could afford to get the car fixed and I said because I squirreled everything together in a pile I don't go driving around I don't buy fast food I buy only what's necessary. I don't go out buying stuff and I don't go places unless it's free. <laughs> he just doesn't seem to understand that because every penny that he gets, he spends. It goes right through his fingers like water running through your fingertips. And they just can't understand. They must think I have a hidden treasure trove somewhere. But it would be nice, wouldn't it? 
I mean, <laughs> I try to save as much as I can to have something to fall back on in case of emergency, and this is one of those stupid times where it wipes you out. If I don't get anything from here on out, then I'm just going to be so totally broke. But... I had to get the car fixed because I can't afford another one. There's no way I could ever get a loan for anything because the student loan people call me every single day, at least twice a day. Um, and the government's already taken money away from me before I get anything. If, any, if I get any kind of paycheck or anything, the government garnishes it first. So I don't know why they're not talking to the collector people. They should be. They should know what each other's doing, but they apparently don't. Uh, my legs hurting. I just took some Tylenol, which is a, a what is it? Acetaminophen. It's a pain reliever. I think in England they call it paracetam paracetamol or something like that. Because I had to look it up. I thought, I wonder what that is. It's pretty much the same thing. So. I'm starting to become physically tired and then it gets to my brain once I've sat down. I've been only sitting for a couple minutes now, so it's starting to drain my brain. <laughs> it's all gathering in my butt. <laughs> Tomorrow ought to be interesting. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see you then. Upward and onward.